Talk about high drama in the building behind me. Melania Trump's office throwing down the gauntlet, basically, questioning the job of that national security official after our reporting on tensions building up. It's just one of the storylines suggesting a staff shakeup could be on the way, with Chief of Staff John Kelly caught in the crosshairs, too. In a first for the First Lady, Melania Trump's office releasing a statement publicly blasting a national security official after tensions that bubbled up over the First Lady's trip to Africa last month. Her spokesperson saying it is the position of the office of the First Lady that Mira Ricardell no longer deserves the honor of serving in this White House. Multiple sources tell NBC News the deputy national security advisor infuriated the First Lady's office during plans for that first overseas trip. The First Lady's statement coming just minutes after a White House event hosted by the president and attended by Ricardell. One White House official noting she's one of the highest ranking women in the Trump administration and has never met the first lady. And while it's Melania Trump's public statement making headlines, new details now on major tensions behind the scenes too between Mrs. Trump and Chief of Staff John Kelly. He and the First Lady have tangled over staffing issues and travel requests, according to seven people familiar with the fighting, to the point the president has had to get involved, delivering this message to Kelly, deal with it. One White House official telling NBC there have been instances where the East Wing staff were not treated as equals to the male-dominated decision makers in Chief Kelly's office. But in a statement, the First Lady's spokesperson called the relationship with Kelly's staff very positive. Melania Trump acknowledging the challenges inside the White House last month. We always need to watch your back. Her husband last week hinting at changes to come. People leave. They come in. They're here. It's a very exhausting job. They start off their young people. They're there for two years, and they're old by the time they leave. <laughs> it's quite exhausting. So we do not know what's going to happen with John Kelly, Hallie, but no. if he were to leave, who would replace him? Well, uh, among the front runners, Hoda, is a guy whose name a lot of people may not know. His name is Nick Ayers, according to three sources familiar with the discussions. And right now, he's already a chief of staff, but for Vice President Mike Pence. Now, caveat here, nothing is a done deal until it's a done deal from the president, and there are no personnel announcements coming out from the White House. Keep in mind that Ayers has worked to develop a relationship with the president. His current boss, Mike Pence, is overseas, and overnight, a senior administration official, when asked about all this, said, hey, we're not going to comment on what they described as palace intrigue. Still plenty to watch here in the coming days, guys. All right, Hallie Jackson at the White House. Hallie, thanks.